Hey there, folks. Michael Klepik here. And today we're venturing into the world of packed bed scrubbers, those unsung heroes that keep industrial airstreams clean by scrubbing away harmful gases. If you've ever wondered how to design an efficient packed bed scrubber or what packing material works best for your setup, you're in for a treat. We'll cover everything from how these scrubbers work to the different types of packing materials available. Trust me, by the end, you'll have all the tools you need to pack a punch with your scrubber design, pun totally intended. Key elements of packed bed scrubber design. Let's start by understanding the design basics of a packed bed scrubber. The goal is simple. Maximize the contact between the gas stream and the scrubbing liquid to efficiently remove contaminants. To achieve this, several factors come into play. Gas and liquid flow rates. Your scrubber's performance hinges on the flow rates of both the gas and the liquid. You want to ensure that the gas has plenty of opportunities to interact with the scrubbing liquid without creating too much resistance or pressure drop. The more contact time, the more pollutants you can capture. Simple as that. Tower size. The tower's height and diameter matter, folks. A taller tower gives the gas more time to interact with the liquid, which improves pollutant capture. But don't just go building the world's tallest scrubber. Tower size also depends on flow rates and the specific pollutants you're dealing with. It's all about finding that balance. Packing material. Here's where the magic happens. The packing material inside your scrubber provides the surface area where gas and liquid meet. The more surface area you have, the more efficient your scrubber will be. But you also want to minimize pressure drop, so choosing the right packing is key. Pressure drop. No one likes high energy costs, right? So it's crucial to keep the pressure drop low. The trick is selecting packing that offers maximum surface area for gas-liquid contact while minimizing resistance to airflow. It's like picking a filter that catches everything without clogging. Corrosion resistance. Most packed bed scrubbers deal with some pretty nasty stuff, corrosive gases, harsh chemicals, you name it. So you'll want materials that can handle it. Stainless steel, polypropylene, and chemical resistant plastics are popular choices to keep your scrubber from rusting away. Types of packing for packed bed scrubbers. Now that we've got the basics down, let's talk packing materials. This is where your scrubber's efficiency can really take off or hit a roadblock, depending on your choice. Here are some of the most common types of packing. Rashig rings. These are the OG of scrubber packing materials. Rashig rings are small, hollow cylinders that can be made from metal, plastic, or ceramic. They're great for low pressure applications and are super durable in high temperature or corrosive environments. But here's the catch. While they provide decent surface area, there are more efficient options available today. PAL rings. Next up, we have PAL rings. These are an upgrade from Rashig rings designed with more open structures to improve gas and liquid flow. They provide a higher surface area while keeping the pressure drop low. That's why they're so popular. They offer better efficiency without adding too much resistance. They're made from polypropylene, metal, or ceramic, so they can handle a variety of industrial conditions. Saddle Packing Saddle packing comes in metal or ceramic and has a saddle shape, hence the name, that offers low pressure drop and high surface area. The unique shape helps with better liquid distribution and reduces the risk of blockages in the bed, making it a solid option for improving scrubber performance. Structured packing. Structured packing is where things get really high tech. These consist of thin corrugated sheets of metal or plastic that are stacked in a specific arrangement. The result? A very high surface area and excellent gas-liquid contact. Structured packing is ideal for processes that need high mass transfer efficiency, like those involving complex chemical reactions. It's efficient, but it can be more expensive. Plastic balls, random packing. Random packing like plastic balls might seem simple, but don't let that fool you. Made from polypropylene, these balls provide a large surface area for the gas and liquid to interact. They're often used in less corrosive environments and are a cost-effective solution for scrubber applications 
that don't require the high efficiency of structured packing. Interlock saddles. Finally, we have interlock saddles. These are highly efficient packing materials that maximize surface area and improve gas-liquid interaction. The design is an evolution of standard saddle packing, offering even better performance with minimal pressure drop. They're widely used in applications where high efficiency is a must. Choosing the right packing material. So how do you know which packing is right for your scrubber? Well, it all depends on the type of gas you're treating, the contaminants involved, and the level of efficiency you need. For simple applications, if you're dealing with straightforward processes and don't need super high efficiency, Rashig rings or PAL rings can get the job done. They're reliable, cost-effective, and easy to maintain. For high efficiency needs, if your process is more complex or you're dealing with high contaminant levels, structured packing or interlock saddles are your best bets. These options give you the maximum surface area and the best gas-liquid interaction ensuring that you capture as many pollutants as possible with minimal pressure drop. Corrosion resistance and material selection. Let's not forget about corrosion resistance. If you're dealing with corrosive gases, you'll need packing materials that can withstand these harsh conditions. Metals like stainless steel are great for high temperature applications, while plastics like polypropylene are perfect for lower temperature, highly corrosive environments picking the wrong material could lead to costly downtime or system failures. So, when it comes to designing a packed bed scrubber, the packing material you choose can make all the difference. Whether you go with Rashig rings for a simpler setup or structured packing for top tier efficiency, the key is balancing surface area with low pressure drop and ensuring your materials can handle the gases you're treating. Always consult with experienced engineers and consider the specific needs of your industrial process to get the best performance out of your scrubber. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, when it comes to air quality, packed bed scrubbers really know how to get things done.